Persuasion dialogue can only be successful if both parties base their arguments on each other's commitments. That is to say, whatever each party is bringing to the table in form of their argumentation, the other party should try to refute or build upon to strengthen their own case. There's two basic types of persuasion dialogue. Uh, asymmetrical persuasion dialogue, where the type of obligation of one participant is different from the other. In the symmetrical persuasion dialogue, both participants have the same type of obligations. There's a very good example of this that's become extraordinarily popular on YouTube that we must address. Theology is a realm of philosophy where debate happens quite often, and quite often I see the wrong sort of dialogue taking place. Hopefully these two examples will highlight the differences. Let's look at this one example. Carl is a committed believer in God who's trying to convince Eric that God exists. Eric is not convinced by Carl's arguments and raises many doubts. Eric is not an atheist and calls himself agnostic. In this case, the obligations of Carl and Eric are different types. Carl has the burden of proof to try to prove to Eric the positive thesis, where Eric is merely a doubter, skeptic, agnostic. He's not trying to prove the negative theist that God does not exist. His obligation is only to raise questions which reflect his doubts about the acceptability of Carl's arguments. Let's look at another example. Mary is a committed atheist who is arguing God does not exist. Barbara is a believer in God and she is trying to convince Mary that God does exist. Each person is trying to refute the thesis of the other. I'm not going to provide an argument for either side. These examples are used because they are easy to understand and because they are very popular on YouTube. Unfortunately, what I've seen happen on YouTube time and time again is either side of this discussion trying to redefine terms. If neither side of the party can decide what their terms mean, there can be no debate in the first place. Before engaging each other in dialogue, define the term God, theist, atheist, agnostic, and so on. Pick a definition to use and stick with that definition consistently. Otherwise, you're not engaging in a persuasive dialogue. You're engaging in a dialogue that will have no beginning and no end because neither party understands what the other is saying.